a server in uh, like the zone one area, server in zone six and zone five, right, middle and left. All right, let's get three passes on here. Okay, we're going to serve. You're going to serve three. One, two, three. Yep. All right, that. So, so we'll get one. So passing here, and then the next serve to the middle back. Yep. No. Zone one server, you're going to serve three in a row. There, and the next one to right back here. All right, now, the server in zone six, you're going to serve to the left, middle, and right. Yep, three in a row. So now, as a serve receiver, you're getting passes coming from all three spots on the court, rather than just having a server serving out of the old zone one or zone five. And then the third server over there. So now you're going to get a ball that's more straight on for this passer. That's it up. Right, and then rotate. So rotate here. So let's. Yep, move across new spot. So that's one way you can do it. Or we're going to serve one after the other now. Zone one, then zone six, and then zone five. But you're all going to serve at the same passer. All right, this is the other way you can do it. It's the same drill, but now they're getting three serves in a row from three different spots in the back row. So here we go. So we'll have a look at passing. And then a the second one from the middle of the court. And then the third one will be from the left side of the or the back left side of the court. And then then we, we would repeat and do the same thing for the person in middle back. So what you're doing in serving and passing practice is you're giving your passers opportunities to see the ball straight ahead coming from that angle and coming from that angle. So they're getting variety uh, as they would during a match. Rather than just having one person serving from the old service zone, then you've got the passers having to work on how do they get the ball from different angles to the same spot?